Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo and today we're going to talk about what you're able to do if you run into a battery draining issue or situation on your Samsung Galaxy device or randomly through the day it kind of gets hot and it's overworking itself and you don't really know why. Lately with the Galaxy S22 after the recent update there has been some reports talking about a big battery drain issue with the S22 series when it comes down to the Samsung keyboard. So I'm going to show you what you can do if you're running into issues with the Samsung keyboard or if you suspect it or think that it could be coming from something else, I'm going to show you all the steps you can take to make sure that you can fix this issue. So I will be showing you about five or six things that you're able to do. The very last one that I show you is one that'll probably be the most important and the most effective. So make sure you stay tuned through the whole video, but especially watch the very last one to make sure that you see that because some people didn't know that you can do this, but it usually fixes almost all of your issues. So first off, let's talk about specifically with the S22 when it comes down to this latest update and when it comes down to the Samsung keyboard. So what you're able to do is if you are using the Samsung keyboard, the first thing you can do if you want to get rid of it is if you download Gboard from the normal Google Play Store. So if you just use a completely different keyboard, then this way it's not being active, it's not gonna run down your battery. So if there is a problem, Samsung can go through and patch it and fix it here pretty quickly. And until then you can use Gboard, or if you would like to try to fix it and still use your Samsung keyboard, just open up the Samsung keyboard, click on the little settings button. And then on the very bottom, you're gonna go right here where it says about Samsung keyboard. And then on the very top with this little eye, you can go inside of here and this is where you would like to go inside of your storage to clear the cache and clear the data. Really the only thing that you're gonna lose is if you have something saved, like maybe one of those short form keyboard or short phrases. So if you say like the word Addy and it pulls up your entire address, you're just gonna lose that, that's it. Uh, so after you did an update, there's some of this storage and cache and data that's still being stored and through this update, it's still sitting there and that is what's causing the issue. So as long as you clear the data and clear the cache and then restart your phone, you're going to have a much better experience. You can still clear this, uh, you know, both of these data and cache restart the phone and if you still don't feel like it totally fixed it, just go back over inside of Gboard and use that until the fix has come. So you just wanna clear both of those and that's pretty much it for that one. But I'm gonna show you several other steps you can do because it was also reported that inside of the Galaxy S22, if you updated it, now because the S23 is showing something different, I have to kind of show this little video. Sometimes the S22s went into a power mode of high performance or maximum performance. So if you were to update your phone and you notice that your power mode is actually at high performance or maximum performance and beforehand you're maybe in medium power saving mode or optimized, you might want to go back and put those in. Now on this phone here, I don't have those options, but the one that I do have is going to be my performance profile. And with my performance profile, you can have it as standard, which is just the normal recommended balance between processing speed, battery life and cooling efficiency but I always have mine on light. It prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed and I have no issues. Now I'm not playing a game that's massive, uh, that's trying to take all of this, you know, processing speed and power. So my phone works perfectly fine in light. And I love having this here because I have noticed a really big difference when it comes down to my battery life. And the other thing I usually have on, I'm just not going to have it on while I shoot videos, is extra dim. Extra dim just brings the, the brightness down quite a bit. But if I walk outside, I usually always turn that off so this way I can you know, see my phone uh, the way that it needs to be seen. So specifically with the S22, those are the two main focus points you want to take a look at, which is making sure that your performance mode is not in that maximum uh, you know, high mode. And you might want to put it back to optimum and also you can clear the cache, clear the data on Samsung keyboard with this video you just saw, or you can move it over into Gboard, or you can do both. Now let's go through a few other things that you can also take a look at, uh, and that's gonna be inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll down and you can take a look over inside of your battery and device care. And then through here, this is where you can go inside of battery. Now you can put on power saving if you want to, that'll just kind of make your phone a little bit slower. Uh, you can take a look at some of your background usage limits, and this is where you can turn on, put unused apps to sleep. So sometimes you might have applications on your phone that's just sitting there. They might be running in the background or they might not be running in the background, but if you're not using them, you can actually put them to sleep. 
So this way, you know, you got some that's, you know, sleeping, you have some deep sleeping. So these ones right here are not going to open. They're not going to take my battery life. And that's also why, you know, I have a really good battery life on my S23 Ultra is because four of them are sleeping and, and 41 are deep sleeping applications. And you can choose specific ones if you want them to never sleep. So maybe you want to make sure that you get every single notification immediately, instantly, you know, maybe with emails or Twitter or Facebook, whatever you might use the most, you can put them there as never sleeping, but make sure that you go through and you, and you turn on this, this feature here, which is put unused apps to sleep. And if you don't know exactly where to find it, or maybe your phone is set up different than mine, you can just type in the word sleep and you should be able to find it through the settings. Now, next up, what you also want to do is take a look at your battery. So you want to see what is actually taking the majority of your battery usage. So for mine today, it's mostly Discord and then Instagram and then Pokemon Go and then Facebook. And as you scroll on down, if you take a look at a few different things uh, that is taking the most battery, you can go inside of there and then you can just basically stop it um, or you can also put it to sleep. Uh, you can even limit the usage as well. So you wanna take a look inside of here just to see what is really causing the issue uh, and, and you'll more than likely be able to find it and you can put it to sleep if need be. Now this next one that you can do, this is one that you know is not really causing any problems or any issues, but it's one that can take your battery life. And that one is going to be your always on display. So if you were to take a look over uh, wherever your always on display is, and if you turn it off, it's going to save you battery. If you're not looking at your phone, if it's sitting in your pocket, if it's sitting on a table or a desk, you're not even around it, you're not taking a look at it, and the display is on slightly, that is consuming battery life. So you might as well just have it turned off. And basically what I do is, you know, anytime that I do walk up to my phone, I'd be able to just give it a, you know, a simple tap. I'd be able to see what's going on. Uh, and then again, I can turn it right back off really quick. And it didn't really take much battery rather than it just staying on for, you know, 15 minutes, two hours, eight hours between me actually even looking at the phone. So again, that kind of seems like it would be wasting battery if you have your always on display on. Now, this very last one is the big behemoth. This is the most important one. This is basically what you do at the end of everything. So you went through all of those steps that I just got done showing you talking about always on display, your performance mode. If you have a problem that is known with the Samsung keyboard, you clear the cache, you clear the data because you're getting rid of that stuff that in between that update kind of sitting there in limbo causing those problems and issues this is the one that you would want to do if you don't know what's causing it but you do know that there is something going on and there is a battery drain what you want to do is you want to turn off your phone and then we're going to go and we're going to clear or wipe the cache partition so you're not doing a factory data reset you're not deleting anything off your phone there's no contents coming off there's you're not going to lose images or text messages or nothing like that it's literally just the things that are stored as cache on your phone that is always being there between all these different updates and what you're able to do is you can now delete them so you're not going to run into problems because if there is some stored cache from a previous update that is still sitting there with the newest update, that is where that little uh, discrepancy is happening. So you want to press and hold on the volume up and the power or the side key. So as you press and hold on both of them, you basically wait for the Android icon to pop up um, and then you just let go. So that little Android icon that was shown on the bottom, you just wait for your phone to kind of turn on and then you let go of both. This is where you use your volume keys. The volume key this is where you use the down to bring it down uh, you don't want to do this option this is the wipe data and factory reset you want to do the one right below it so wipe cache partition you hit on the power key or the side key you hit it once and then you want to hit the down arrow one more time for the yes and then you hit it again so now you just wiped the cache partition now the very top option here is reboot system so you just want to hit that little side key and now it's just going to reboot it and turn it right back on. So anything that was sitting there in between these different updates that you may have on your phone, you just now got rid of them. And now you're starting fresh with what should be there from this latest update. You don't have anything from an older operating system or older UI or anything like that. And so now, uh, you should be sitting pretty with your phone. I did notice that this did help a little bit when it came down to me swiping on my home screen and pulling down the notifications panel. I noticed that for some reason it was a little slow. Sometimes I had to swipe it twice for it to register. And so now this one uh, definitely helped out. And so now you just wait for everything to boot right back up and hopefully you should be good to go. So again, if you have the Galaxy S22, you might wanna follow those very first two steps and then you wanna follow this one and you are golden. If you ran into some of those other problems as well, uh, follow those ones. But really you can do everything in this video that I just shown you uh, and you're not gonna have any problems after that. More than likely, most of all these fixes should be fixed 
as of right now. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.